Good morning gardeners. Today I just wanted to give you an update on uh, some bamboo that I've been growing. I actually have four different varieties. Actually around my pond there's four different varieties and I have another uh, old homie. You can see it over my roof from the gabled end of my house on the west side. It gives the west side of my house full shade right in here. So that's about 30 feet tall over there. It's going very nicely, nice big uh, canes on it. But uh, around the pond, this is one of my newer ones. I just planted uh, last fall, I think. So it's only been in the ground a year. It's a sea breeze. And it's got some nice new shoots. It gets probably more water than all of them because I just had to cut back this vetiver grass. This one gets a nice supply of water. The other one I don't water hardly at all and it's still growing but very slowly over there in the other corner right past the canna in front of that sugar cane and here's my other grass which is Sudan grass but it's sorghum so I'm going to feed that to my chickens once it's, uh, it's already starting to get some tassels on it so that'll be right probably in December feed it to my chickens one papaya plant over there growing papayas and you see across the pond over there. That's my Florida Prince peach. I gotta prune that one back because it's uh, about eight, at least eight feet tall now. Planted that last year. It was only three feet last year. So this one's doing very well. It'll give me tons of peaches next spring. But back to the bamboo. I really like the sea breeze. You know, it's got some new shoots here, and they'll just keep uh, getting bigger. This one's a lot slower growing. It would probably do better if I had more water, but I uh, had a minimum water even there during that high heat and drought that we had. And you see it's got some dry leaves, but it's getting some new growth. This is a new shoot, some new leaves growing in there. So it'll come back, but this old hami, Two years in the ground and we're at 20 feet and I just pruned all the dried up leaves it's getting a lot of new growth but some of these new shoots in here are getting pretty pretty big you can see the size of these right here it's probably about inch and a half and that's two years of growth on those the one I really wanted to get going was the black timor it's been in the ground about a year it doesn't have any new shoots this year so i'm gonna really focus on that give it lots of water i just clear, cleared out some of the old hami that was shading it so i need need to get more sun on that these figs are going to lose all their leaves pretty soon so they get some winter sun in there but let's go back to my original four-year-old old hami uh, gotta go through this jungle here. Eh. It's hard to see with all these mulberries. But there's the original old homie bamboo that's growing past the gable down there. It just got regular water during the uh, high heat and drought that we had. You can see these uh, canes on here, these combs on here. Yeah, they're getting at least a little over two inches in diameter. I try to clean out some of the leaves and some of the smaller ones, and I use those for tree stakes. But this is a uh, on the west side of my house, you see I got a lot of stuff growing in the shade here, like the Monstera, Michelina Abba. There's an avocado seedling and some shampoo ginger, and my dwarf Namwa, which will get protected from the frost. Being closer to the house, it gets some warmth in the winter, but it gives it a filtered light in the summertime. So it's doing very well there. But uh, 
they had more water, they would be a lot more green, but this is the time of year they're gonna start shedding all those leaves. All those leaves will be their food source because as they decompose and the bugs turn and the bacteria turn all the nutrients that are in the leaves into available nutrients to the plant, that's all they need for fertilizer is they feed on themselves all the decaying matter. First couple of years, you could probably get some manure because it is in the grass family and need a lot of nitrogen. But uh, I haven't fed these in two years and it's doing just fine. Just need to get some cleanup here. Have a good day, guys.